footwork, right? Who has heard the term footwork makes the dream work? Never. 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 Tell me its origins. That means all of you did get paid by Dale. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, footwork makes the dream work, right? It's all well and good to stand still. But if we can't change and be dynamic, changing ranges and positions, we're going to be one dimensional. It doesn't matter how many shots you know, right? So I'm going to show you guys three ways of stepping. This is not the end all be all, and I encourage you to be creative, but I'm gonna show you guys three ways, okay, of stepping. Let's all get into a good L stance. Make sure our what? Our posture. Posture is on point, our chest is? Down. And out. Our chin is. Okay. Our shoulders are. Down. Our knees are. Down. Okay. Engaged. We're on the balls of our feet. Okay. Again, one way to tell is if you can get this bounciness and easily and intuitively shift weight between your forward and your back foot. Everybody with me? Okay. The first thing we're going to do is called an advanced step. Okay, and what we are doing in an advanced step is we are taking our whole body and moving it forward. I will show you how to do it, and then if you guys want to do it as well, you're more than welcome to. Okay, the first thing that's going to happen is my front foot is going to move forward. My back foot will slide to the same place essentially that I started in, right? I should be able to still be in a good stance when I move forward. So again, if I'm moving forward, my front foot is going to come forward and my back foot is going to slide up. Now, what we are not doing with our back foot is dragging it, right? First of all, that puts a ton of stress on your joints and it's going to slow you down. You want more of a glide across the ground okay now if we're moving forward and our front foot is the first thing that moves when we go backwards which foot's going to move first back, back foot exactly when you move check your stance again check in with it Think about your posture. Think about your weight distribution. Think about your balance. Are your hips back? Are you starting to lean? Where's your balance and your center of gravity? Okay. When we move over here to our right, which foot is going to move first? Right foot. The right foot. All right. When we move over here to our left, which foot will initiate? You guys are on it. Okay? So this is our advanced step. What we're going to do is take three advanced steps forward. One, two, three. Excellent. Now, three steps back. Three steps to the right. And three steps to the left. Awesome. Oh, you guys are killing it. Who's seen the way big cats move? Is that a movie? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that one. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make the poster first and move back. From there. No, who's seen the way like a big cat hunts? Yeah, they keep their head level the whole time. Yes! Say that again, please. They keep their head level the whole time. Let me give you guys a great little reminder when you are moving move like a big cat don't look like prey okay don't look like prey if I'm doing this do I look like an apex predator oh all right is that guy sure what a cat is <laughs> um, here 
right? See how when I move, my balance is the same. I'm still affecting a good stance. Everybody seeing that? Mm -hmm. So that is our advanced step, okay? Now sometimes we're going to want to cover a little bit more distance. We're going to want to compromise our stance a little bit in order to get that extra little bit of range, okay? So what I'm going to show you now is a lunge step, okay? A lunge step. When we are doing a lunge step, Brian, do you mind for Not at all. We're typically out here. And I'm thinking, oh my God, that looks juicy, right? But I'm a little bit out of range, right? If I come and bring my whole stance in, he's going to be able to read it, okay? So I want to move in a dynamic and explosive way. I'm going to do a lunge, right? The first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to kick my heel out. Boom, right? I am not going to lead with the ball of my foot. I'm going to lead with my heel so that... When I do my lunge, who said it earlier? My what stays over my what? Oh, yeah, yes! Good structure. Good structure allows us to have good body mechanics, allows us to have a good stance, right? So, the heel initiates the motion of the front foot. Then, the rest falls. And you want to sort of gently fall into this, okay? Don't try to lean over too much, right? We're still trying to affect a good stance. You guys can all look at Lightning right now, not to put you on the spot. You see how Lightning's shoulders are still back. Her chest is still out, her posture is still aligned, her chin is still up. Look how deep she is into the stance. This is a great stance. That's a great lunge step, okay? so. So I'll get a little bit of space here. Get into a good guard. Okay. And heel, lunge. And let's just stay here for a minute, right? If you fall over, that's okay. If you lose balance, that's okay. What I want you to do is in this position, do a little check-in with yourself. Are you feeling stress on your knee? Do you need to maybe Bring it back a little bit. Everybody's bodies are different. Everybody's bodies are different, right? So, if you're more or less flexible, you can play with that, but remember our core tenets. Posture, good mechanics, okay? Now let's pop back to a good stance. Great. One more time with the lunge. If you're feeling a little bit more comfortable, try and get a little bit more deeper into it. See how deep you can go without falling over, right? Really open those hips up, guys. <laughs> really open those hips up, right? Show, what, what do we say, what do we say? One more time, one more time. Yeah, yeah, shoulders over your waist, knee over your toes. Pop back to a good stance. Let's try and get a little bit deeper. Again, don't hurt yourself, guys. Right, one, two, three. And pop back. Jamie, look, the shoulders over your waist. <laughs> I was getting as far as I could go. <laughs> <laughs> so far I go. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so we know now two ways of stepping and their applications, right? I'm going to teach you another one. <laughs> we don't cover spins at SKBC. It's called Spin Night Boot Camp. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all got a good day. Let's show you that stuff. Or Lily. But I'm going to show you guys now a chase step. Okay? A chase step. So these things, these are big motions. Right? These are big motions. Macro motions. Sometimes we don't want to do the biggest thing we can do. We want to be more subtle. All right? You want to be more subtle. You want to take micro motions, right? This becomes more and more applicable. Aaron, do you mind if I borrow you? Yep. The closer you are. If I'm trying to lunge from this distance, I'm going to run right into his sword, right? Also, as I do my advanced steps, he's going to read it. So if I move forward, he's going to do what? 
Move back, right? Sometimes what you want to do is affect something a little bit more subtle and deceptive, okay? So we're still in our good stance. But bring this guy up. Sneaky back foot, right? Also called phantom step in basketball. Is that correct, sir? Zero step, yeah. Zero yeah. step. Sorry, guys. Zero there step, right? I like phantom step better. You should be So back. this, the closer we get to our opponent, out, the bigger the motion, the more telegraphed we are. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we want to minimize things, right? Now, that doesn't mean that you can't do little minimal things and then go, ha, ah, right? You can still do that, but you got to set it up. Can lead with it, right? So this guy right here allows you to make these micro motions. And what am I doing? Switch stances. Quicker, more subtly, and more effectively. So when we are doing this chase step, okay, here we are in our good stance. I'm gonna bring this guy up. Remember this fist distance, guys? Remember this fist distance we talked about? To about that. And then we're gonna move forward. All right? Now what we don't wanna do is go, huh? 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 Remember, we're a bunch of apex predators. Right? Don't look like prey, right? Yeah, that's not an apex predator. Okay? Same thing. Boom, 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 boom. So let's get about three of those going forward. Three chase steps. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three. Excellent. Three chase steps going back. One, two, three. Great. How are we feeling? Good. Feeling good? Okay, guys. So I think we have about 15 minutes. Those are the basics. Again, I want to reiterate something. Each one of these concepts is a big idea, and that's all we're going over right now. The big idea, okay? Each one of these concepts, you can delve into like a well and draw from. As you progress in your development, different things will become more and more apparent to you, and each of these concepts will become deeper and deeper and deeper, right? But now we have a shared vocabulary. Instructors, would you please raise your hands? be happy to go into these concepts more at length, right? Now that we have a shared terminology, unless you absolutely need to in class, you can talk to these guys during your instructor cards. And if you're saying, well, I noticed that Sir Peter does this a little bit differently, right? I wonder why he does that. Get Peter's card, right? I'll be selling it. <laughs> Five bucks a pot. Yeah, fit well, okay. Let's start the bidding at 15 then. Yeah. I gotta get back home, guys. Alright. Last thing I'm gonna say, guys, is that our class structure, when you look and see where your classes are, we have one, two, three, going around this way. Okay? Everybody got that? We have one going down to however many we got, but that's where it starts. Okay, thank you guys so much for being here. So happy to be here. Ryan, one more thing. Yeah, one more thing. Hey, I uh, invited three sports massage therapists to site. Two of them are sitting over there in masks. They are gonna be stationed in the lodge upstairs. Please avail yourself to their services. They paid gate. I would at least like them to be able to make that money back, so please, Use them, they're the elite massage professionals over there. Detroit Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>